Hey guys. All right, quick follow up here. So we got our flywheel mounted, magnets are inside, alternating. We have coils, they're not attached to anything. They're just mounted in place right now. I have to build up the whole circuit still. We have the floating trigger coil, which is just the same as the other ones, but this one allows you to just loosen this fly, fly nut here. I'm not gonna do that right now because I've got a bunch of caulking in there that's kind of holding it together. I need to get a different type of um, different type of bobbin to wide that on in order to get something more secure but i'll be able to loosen that and then adjust it left or right and adjust the timing on the trigger so we'll have a uh, north coil that's a north sensing trigger or it will be and then i have two up here i had to put two because i accidentally moved it from here to here and then realized oh they're alternating from north to south uh i need this to be north here at the same time as it's south here and this one on this side will be south because that's the north facing there and I moved it down thinking oh I need south here because this is south then this is north. and then I realized ah oh, shit I had to take it apart well no I don't want to because I've undone this a couple of times and I'm breaking pieces of copper off because it's starting to get brittle so I'm going to leave that one there we'll deal with it another day and I put this one in place um, but she runs pretty smooth Still got a wobble in it. There's no way for me to make this more precise. Not with the tools that I'm using. But that ain't bad. The one downside is it slows down a little bit more now because I couldn't find brass. Well, I couldn't find brass. To fit that with and um, so it's got a bit of a steel core there which is pulling it down a little bit but this is a prototype so I get what I can and do what I can either way it's still running uh, oh I also worked on the circuits here's our transistors Transistor D2241. There are three of them. We're going to use them in parallel. And uh, this is the heat sink we've mounted to it. A little heat sink. So I'll be doing that over the next day or so here. So we'll have that. We've got a bunch of capacitors up here. We're going to throw in the mix. We've got Shockley diodes. So we've got all the toys, even if the uh, the capacitors are not perfect. Like this 25 volt one, this is this is good. That I definitely want. This one here is a 450 volt. However, its capacity is much much lower than I want. I wanted a higher capacity. Anyway. I've ordered some other ones that uh, will be here in like four months, who knows, and some Shockley diodes. So the reason I'm using these ones is because a, a, a normal diode, you have to um, deal with a forward, vol or forward, forward voltage bias, or forward bias, or whatever they want to call it. And that is, say I want to send electricity through a wire, and I want to light a light bulb, but that light bulb or that, that diode may take um, 1.7 volts of electricity in order to turn it on. If I have um, a diode in place, because it's necessary for the circuit for whatever reason, I also have to push in an additional 0.7 volts just to get past it so it'll allow it to electricity to start flowing properly. These ones uh, are supposed to be 0.3 volts, so it requires less electricity in order to deal with the forward bias. Forward bias. Um, but what I found was they're actually more like 0.1. These are really good. And uh, I got 50 of them. I only really needed three or four, but that's how you had to order them. So, anyway, we'll see how this goes. Wish me luck.